Good evening. Uh, tonight we're here with Marilyn Chambers, star of films and stage and uh, probably many a wet dream. Uh, Marilyn, uh, we haven't really seen you for a while. I mean, you've been on Midnight Blue and you've been around, but the audience really hasn't uh, heard too much of you. Uh, what have you been no. doing? Well, besides the Las Vegas gig I just did for 52 weeks, mm -hmm. Mime Which of the Dirty is? Man, was Mime of the Dirty Man. It was the longest running play in Las Vegas history. Mm -hmm. I got the key to the city from the mayor. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also an authoress. I have two books out. Marilyn Chambers, My Story, and mm -hmm. the new one that's just out right now, Xavier Meets Marilyn Chambers by Warner Communication. Hmm. Plus, I write an article for Genesis Magazine. Do you want me to go into it? Sure. <laughs> Why not? I have a jewelry line. I have all sorts of things going. Oh, so you're doing pretty well, then. Yeah. What about the new, uh, the new show you have coming out? Uh... Lay Belly Button. Right. right. Well, I'm really excited about it. Mm -hmm. I'm really super turned on to the whole thing because it's really a, the way I could describe it is it's a really, it's a sexy musical. Okay, that's really a cliche these days to say something like that, but I could compare it to like Hair or Calcutta mm -hmm. type of a show. Although it has a lot of very sexy, wild dancing in it, very yeah. funny skits. Nudity? Uh, uh, total nudity. Not all the time. Now, mm -hmm. there's a, like a disco number where there's a, I'm wearing a vest and, you know, it'll go open every now and then. It'll be mm -hmm. kind of titillating. All right. I would call it a review type of a thing because that there's a, a, a skit, blackout dance, blackout mm -hmm. number, this, that, the other thing, so fast that the, uh, the lighting, the music, the comedy is all important. All right. Well, you've been staying away from porn films, it seems, but uh, in actual <clears throat> fact, I guess they're... You work a lot with the Mitchell brothers, and uh, you have a new release out now on the West Coast that's supposed to be coming to New York sometime, uh, Inside Maryland Chambers, I think it's called. Um, how, I mean, are you going to be coming back into films, or uh, are you plan to Well, actually, let me explain about that film. Sure. I'm not trying to apologize for it or anything, but the Mitchell brothers made a documentary of my career in X Films, which is, to date, two films, The yeah. Unabian Door and Resurrection of Eve and um, put together the outtakes that they didn't use for the films and um, later told me about it after they had done it. So I, I, we made the right deal and I decided that I would promote the film because it, it's, um, I think there's some sexy shots in there and I don't think that it hurts me at all. And I think that uh, as far as, it's not any really new footage that you haven't Scene. It's things that they, they didn't use in the film, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. different angles, right. different shots, yeah. things like that. But, you know, uh, my fans, I'm sure, would find it interesting. <laughs> We're doing some appearances in New York when the film comes to town, mm -hmm. which I believe will probably be in about three or four weeks. I don't know for sure, but uh, I hope to meet my fans because I really that's something I really enjoy doing. Well, what were you looking for in porn back then, really? I mean, what was I looking for? Yeah, well... Uh, Probably the what, same thing everybody else was. Which one? Well, for me, it was um, uh, instant stardom because of the green door and the ivory snow and the whole right. chain of events that led to, um, you know, the whole big thing. Mm -hmm. um, what I was looking for, as I'm sure what everyone else, as I said before, is look, was looking for was a, a shot in the dark. You know, mm -hmm. like, nobody knew. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, it worked. Behind the Green Door worked. Um, Deep Throat worked. Devil and Miss Joan worked. And um, I, in The Resurrection of Eve, worked for me. But that's, those are the only two films that I had done. Right. Um, well, let's loosen up a little bit and talk about Marilyn Chambers and her yeah. sexuality. I'm, what are you into, first of all, just on a personal level? As far as what goes? Sex. Sex. That's yeah. such a general subject these days. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, uh, people say to me, it's funny, people say, well, do you, do you have any fantasies left? I say, of course. <laughs> I use mm -hmm. the same old ones over and over again, but they're just as good. Yeah. Uh, I 
really am into, I love to fantasize when I have sex. And I find that not because I'm bored, mm -hmm. but because I really dig putting myself in other situations and I love to be submissive and I love to be tied up and all sorts of things. I mean, really. I mean, because I like to live out my fantasies. Mm -hmm. I mean, like some people, which is cool, like to just fantasize about their fantasies. Right. But I really like to live them out. So um, I have some fun doing that. Mm -hmm. Give us an example of one. Of one? Sure. Well, you know, the same old thing. I'm sure you've all heard it many times before with the old S&M, <laughs> you know, being tied up. And I really like to be blindfolded, but a tight one, you know, so mm -hmm. I can't get it off, you know, I'm going like this. And my hands are tied, but because I find I get very disorientated mm -hmm. when I'm being turned around and everything, and I don't really know where I am, and I, I don't know what's going to happen next, and I think that the whole anticipation... It's funny, because I read a, um, a column for Genesis Magazine. I just got this letter yesterday from this guy who said um, he really enjoyed reading really scary books or seeing a really scary movie, because it really turned him on. Mm -hmm. And um, what, did I think that was weird? You know, he'd like to make, he would like to make love on, on, a, on a tombstone in a cemetery you know, at midnight or something, and uh, did I think that was weird? And really, no, because I felt that it was being a type of a masochist that likes to, you know, the anticipation of they don't know what's going to happen next type yeah. of a thing. And that's, you know, that's how I feel. Well, what to you is weird? Nothing. nothing really, I feel that, you know, perversion is in the eyes of the beholder. And right. really, I, nothing to me is obscene. And even Al Goldstein. Oh, I love him. Are you kidding? Well. <laughs> Who doesn't? Sure. Um, when, when you say... Uh, this, the, the S and M kind of fantasy. This is something that's, that's progressed. It's very that you've gradually it's gone. It is extremely, <laughs> extremely. Uh, why? Why? Yeah. Well, because I think that people are starting to be able to look at themselves and say, "Hey, I like kinky things. I, I'm yeah. not weird. I can't. I don't have to feel guilty about it anymore." Uh, let's be honest. Let's live out our fantasies. I mean, it's fun. What's the big deal? Mm -hmm. So you. Uh, like to, so, uh, you know, a guy likes to get tied up and beaten by his girlfriend. I mean, usually that type of thing is very degrading to a man, and he feels like he's not a man because mm -hmm. he likes that. But that's not true at all. Mm. You know? Do you, uh, I mean, how about if we all tied you up here? How about if you all, oh, I love did the it. interview like that? It would be very interesting. <laughs> Peter Brennan will get into that, actually. Um, actually, I'm very shy, so you'd have to take me by surprise. Yes. <laughs> Well, is this show that you're doing now sort of S&M oriented at all? Do you have S&M bits in it? Uh, a... One, the honeymoon scene, mm -hmm. which is uh, two very straight people who are, you know, going to this hotel room, and the guy is this really mushy, horrible, mushy type of thing, like, oh, I love you, Mrs. Draper type of thing. Mm -hmm. and it's, but then he really gets in this whole S&M thing and throws her this blonde wig and this whip and these black boots, and she doesn't know what to do with it, and the whole thing takes off from there. So there, there is some of that in there. Do you have anything to do with scripting? No. Nothing whatsoever? No. Uh, getting back into sexuality, uh, which intrigues me considerably. You're, I mean, you are extremely sexy in person. Well, thank you. That's a very big compliment. Yeah, and anybody who could see you in person should probably go do it, I would, I would say. <laughs> thank you. Um, how did you relate to, to screwing on, on uh, for cameras, et cetera? Well, I'm an exhibitionist at heart, so it was very easy. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever get into it? Oh, of course. Yeah. Totally. Because uh, quite a few actresses don't, and it's fair, it tends to be fairly obvious. Yes, right. Well, I had observed that before I got into it, that it had been obvious in the past, so mm -hmm. <clears throat> I told myself that I really wanted to make it, <laughs> I'm sure you've heard this before, different mm -hmm. as far as uh, all of my sex scenes I wanted to be not like everyone else, and I don't know. I think that everyone is a voyeur in a certain sense, and I could really feel that as far as doing a film and what the audience, how they would look at me while they were seeing the film, would they be turned on? Right. Yeah. You know, so that turned me on, too. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get turned on watching it again? Sure. Being, it was rather narcissistic. Yeah, uh, oh, extremely, turn to yes. <laughs> Uh, well, that just about wraps it up. Uh, Marilyn, I thank you very much for being here. My pleasure. Can't wait to, uh, to see the new show, The Belly Button. Where, by the way, where's that opening? It's opening on March 26th at the Diplomat Cabaret Theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it should be quite interesting. I think you'll have a, have a good time. Okay. You'll have to invite us all over, for sure. Okay.
And thank you very much. Uh, get the blindfolds and the ropes. Yes. Quick. <laughs> <laughs>